So the third problem that we're going to do on the sheet is over here. And I chose this problem because it has a negative sign in front of one of the variables. So what, what do we do with that? So remember that anytime a variable does not appear to have a coefficient, there really is a coefficient and that is the invisible one. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that we know there is an invisible one in front of that U. So we're going to rewrite the problem first so that it's easier for us to work. So first term here stays the same. It's negative three U to the second power times, and we've got the negative sign, then we have our invisible one, which is now visible, times u to the second power, v to the second power. And then we have the last term, 2 times u times v. All right, so now that we've made that invisible one visible, it's a little easier for us to multiply the coefficients. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3 because a negative times a negative is a positive. So the positive 3 times a positive 2, that's equal to 6. Then let's look at the variables. So we have u's, u to the second power, u to the second power, and just plain u. But when we've got one u, that's u to the first power. So if we add up those um, coefficients, or sorry, if we add up those exponents, two plus two is four, plus one more is five. So that's u to the fifth power. And then v, we have v to the second power and just plain v, that's v to the first power, we know that. So we can add together the 2 and the 1 exponents on the v and get v to the third power. So that's what we get using our shortcut rules. So let's try factoring this and see if we get the same thing. So negative 3 times u times u, u to the second power, and then it's going to be negative 1 times u times u u to the second power, two u's, times v to the second power, which is v times v. And then we've got two times u times v. All right, so again, we look at the coefficients separately from the variables. Negative three times negative one is a positive three. Positive three times two is six. And then let's count up the u's. One, two, three, four, five. Five u's multiplied times each, each other is u to the fifth power. One, two, three. Three v's multiplied times each other is v to the third power. So if we look at what we got by multiplying or by multiplying our factors, and what we got by using our shortcut, it's the same thing. So that works as an answer.